All right, so the pros and cons of this mattress protector. I think the biggest pro is just how seriously this company takes their mattress protectors in terms of you know certifying that it's allergy and asthma friendly and lab testing that bed bugs can't get into it, they can't get you, um, making sure that it's completely waterproof but also easy to care for. I think if you do have sensitivities or allergies, um, you can feel good about using this mattress encasement because they really do, um, especially in all of the material they give you with the box and on Online, all the information you're gonna need to um, you know trust that you're putting something on your mattress that's really gonna protect you at night and it did pass my waterproof test I poured 10 ounces of water in here left it for a couple hours it spread it didn't like soak all into one spot it spread quite a far distance including down the sides but I had no leakage no issues at all so it can feel good about it being waterproof as well um, so I loved it for all of those things I think probably the only con really is that it's a little bit difficult to get on by yourself. Um, I recommend having an extra set of hands, so it is possible. I just have to kind of lift up your mattress. I have a queen size mattress, so it's a little tricky. I don't know how I do it with a king, but whatever, not there. And um, the other con is that it is a little bit on the pricier side for some mattress protectors. The queen size does cost almost $130. I want to tackle the pros and cons of this mattress protector at once because I think that there are things about this that are good fits for some beds over others. Um, for me, this mattress is only, it's a queen, but it's only 10 inches thick. There was a little bit of extra room material wise, um, so the mattress protector kind of moved around a little bit at night. I think if you have a thicker mattress, then it could be a tighter fit and probably a better fit for you. It is, um, not, as I mentioned before, not an encasement mattress, so only the very top surface is waterproof, but I did do a waterproof test. I poured 10 ounces of water in a concentrated area on the top of the mattress and left it there for two hours and had no issues with leakage or dampness or moisture at all. So that was great. It was easy for me to machine wash. I followed the care instructions carefully and did a low heat for the dry, but it came out fine. Um, and I dried it with other things, which they which they recommend as well. So I think as long as you don't let the heat get too high, which affects that waterproof membrane, then you'll be fine with that. Um, it has, as I mentioned, this interesting terry cloth cover um, or surface material. That's there for a couple of reasons. Um, it's supposed to help with breathability, and it's also supposed to help with something called Invisile protection, which is what Luna offers. Uh, the idea is that it is invisible to you when you're sleeping. You cannot tell the difference between your mattress top and this. Um, that was not the case for me. I used Bamboo Supply Co. bamboo sheets, which I've um, reviewed on Mattress Clarity before, but uh, they're great sheets. They're just thin. Bamboo sheets tend to be a little bit thinner, and I could definitely feel this terry cloth, terry cotton fabric underneath the sheets um, and also I don't know if you can hear it but it does make some noise it's not as bad as if it was just a complete vinyl mattress protector but you can still hear noise and that was something that was sort of unavoidable and something that people brought up in the complaints of the reviews as well although to be honest this mattress protector got a lot of great reviews and overall it did the job that it was intended to do for me but the Invisile protection didn't really work on my part and I did get some noise so those are just two things to take into consideration.